Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, D-Generation X proudly brings to you the Supercar Champion of the World! Okay, not really Supercar Champion, but you know what I mean. Yes, it's Michael Burhan here, the do double no, I just messed that up. Oh well. I'm basically bringing to you another rather British review, of course. I know it's kind of delayed, just had loads of other stuff going on, of course, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to bring to you a very awesome card game by the name of WWE Supercard. If you're a fan of, say, World of Warcraft, League of Legends, and the games that basically have their own respective card series, you'll love this. And even if you play the WWE Tops Trumps games, you're going to love this game. Now, the game itself is on iOS, Android, and it's a trading card game developed by Cat Daddy Games and Visual Con. Concepts, and it's also published by 2K Games and it was released on August 14th, 2014. The great thing about this card game as well is it's absolutely free. Now the game starts with players getting a rare, an uncommon or two common and a common diva WWE Superstars or two common support cards of course as well. Now the game itself allows you to level these cards up and bring you up per tier. So once you level up say common, you go up to uncommon. Once you level up uncommon, then you can make your way basically up to the ultra rare then you can go up to legendary survivor modes and also wrestlemania it's pretty good to use these cards once you level them up in certain matches such as your exhibition match which is a match where you can square off with four male wwe superstar cards and a female diva card and two support cards and the player gets to choose from four opponents and number of matches and win and losses given it's a great way for you to level up your cards and grind in order to bring your cards up to prominence you can also participate in the king of the ring where you can earn more cards such as cards and support cards which puts you in King of the Ring type of simulated matches as well so you have 10 superstars or support cards to determine which tier and rewards you want to go for in terms of your AI matchup and your 15 other players and player squad players simulated matches in each opponent and the player squad thrice but not consecutively in a particular order each match lasting 8 minutes in the gap of 50 minutes between each match per match so you get 8 per match of course in terms of that now in order to get these you've got to get the stamina cards which you can actually win in exhibition modes or even in other modes such as people's champion mode as well now in a pcc the player chooses one of two sides available and what they add in terms of superstars to win you can choose by him her matches to earn points and they're just like exhibition matches but the player gets only three opponents to choose from and the points that can be earned by defeating the opponent instead of their tiers to determine the opponent's dex difficulty level also one can earn a title matches through the card picks earned by pcc matches upon use so double payout points kind of gained as well now the important important game features to this game of course is that you have card stats and rarity so as we talked about you got the common uncommon rare super rare ultra rare epic legendary survivor wrestlemania and also fusion tiers of cards now the great thing about having the fusion added to it as well you can combine certain elements of rarities of cards to get a card that is only available via fusion uh, all the cards have the following stats of course your power toughness speed and charisma on top of that then you get ranked tiers as well so you the stats of the cards of the squad determine the rank tier starting at the lowest rank tier and the rarity of permanent tier and then you can go to the highest possible rank tier which is Wrestlemania plus plus card picks as players exhibition RTG matches he she is rewarded picks based on his or her tier as a rare or better card or the king of the ring boost card resets the sets of cards available for picking the players eventually goes on to increasing their tier by replacing weak cards with stronger cards obtained by picks well now you want to know how this game plays in terms of audio that doesn't really have much it has kind of its own rock beats as well has superstar theme tunes it's nothing amazing especially for ios devices this game due to the fact that it is free you can also pay for certain elements of the game as well via microtransactions so you can purchase cards you can also purchase level ups you can even purchase items that you can use to allow you to play more in terms of certain matches such as your pcc matches and the king of the ring by obtaining stamina now the the biggest thing about this game is that you can grind as well so if you don't want to do that and you just want to grind which is what i've done i haven't spent a penny on this i tend to just basically grind and get what i need after playing a long overhaul of the game now the game is available as i stated on ios android devices and you can also play it on your pc if you're very tech savvy by using an item called blue stacks which allows you to download the game straight to an android app 
on your PC and allows you to play through the game through that. And that's how I kind of use it. It allows me to screen capture everything that you see on the PC. Now, uh, I need to basically talk about a little bit about the graphics. The graphics are good. Your cards look pretty much the same as the WWE Superstars. Have kind of like the movement paces going on as well. But a lot of the game is asserted to the game play. So as you see, you can look at the stats, look at the way that the game plays. And it's very, very highly addictive. Now, at the end, what would I give this game? Looking if you're going basically from uh, a 1 being the worst and 10 being the best, I would give this game a very solid 9 out of 10. Great gameplay, great mechanics, and it brings the whole age-old analogy of keep it simple stupid. Yes, kiss. Keep it simple stupid. This shows why this game I find is miles better than the WWE 2K games that you can actually purchase for your consoles. It's an amazing game. It's great to play. And if you're smart, if you're savvy, you can even upload the game onto your Ouya and also GameStick devices. So there you go, guys. Thank you very much. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and keep yourselves informed with other Brother British reviews. I've got another one coming next week. Hopefully, if uh, no other delays come across, of course. And uh, this has been me, Michael Burhan, saying that I've got gameplay. Have you? Two, one, zero.